Uh, running a race is a true test of yourself and a true test of who you are as a person. In my opinion, the most challenging sport there is because of the dedication it takes to your training and it's really a lifestyle. It's a way that you can compete not only with yourself but with a team as well. I would say cross country is a sport that consists of running through different terrain, uh, not necessarily the woods, but it could be on the road, on a track as well, um, for a competitive nature to win. You get the nervousness of being on the bus, warming up, being on the starting line, and I honestly have to say within the first three steps I kind of forget everything I thought about before. If you're going to have a good race, you're going to want to have a good race and you're going to keep telling yourself through that race that I want to do this. A lot of times you'll want to quit and because your legs hurt or it's cold or you're just tired and your legs feel like jelly, but that mental state that you have to get yourself prepared for really um, is what pushes you to be a better runner. You're going to want to stop, you're going to want to pass out, you're going to want to just like sometimes fall over and just quit. But I mean, you got to think about how it feels to, how it's going to feel when you cross the finish line. It's like definitely a relief when you can stop moving your legs. You've been going at that same competitive pace with your legs for that long and then finally you cross the finish line and you're like, oh, I'm done, I can stop and lay down. That's the feeling that you want, that's the feeling you train for and that's the feeling that you joy in cross country because once you cross that finish line you realize that all that pain and all that you know suffering that you just went through for however long you just ran it was worth it because that finish was what made everything feel good. This is just such a rush of emotions whether you did the best that you could or whether you're so frustrated I think that it's just a relief to be done and you're proud of yourself either way. I always kind of set a goal before a race, before um, a big workout to do, to perform to a certain way and sometimes if that doesn't work out, I mean I get a little discouraged but I don't want that um, like get too hard on myself because I always know that people have off days so I mean you just gotta look for a better tomorrow and things will turn out for the best. Um, I think it, it's the same for a lot of sports, you have to take time off, you have to know when you're pushing yourself and when you're hindering yourself or you're hurting yourself and definitely after you suffer, like I suffered a heat stroke during a really hot race um, and that just physically drained my muscles and it took a long time for me to recover from that actually and I think I thought I was okay a little bit too soon and started training back into it and then I actually um, went to the hospital for an illness which I think I got from not taking the time off that I needed to take off. So I think definitely knowing um, when to rest and how long to rest and really understanding when you're ready to start training again and getting back into that um, fast pace. My biggest challenge is probably having confidence in my own running. I tend to set goals that are pretty high and if I don't achieve them, I guess I'm pretty hard on myself. Pose, like a better pose than that. That's one. one, one. All right, I like well, that let's go. We're just going for ones. I would describe the team as a big family almost. We all, you know, have dinner together after practice and um, everyone gets along and everyone's very friendly with each other. And uh, it's my favorite cross country team I've been a part of. I think that everyone on the team enjoys what they do and no matter the time that they run, they're all there at practice doing the best they can during the workouts to their full ability. So I think that's really, it really motivates me to try my best and to um, do the best that I can. Running with your team, uh, you get to bond with them over long runs. Um, what you kind of say in your head as you're running comes out of your mouth when you're with other people and it makes for interesting conversations. I think it's so close because we all kind of share the same passion. Um, I know it, a lot of us aren't you know, D1 runners or anything like that, but we all share that common um, ability to run. When I started cross country, we had a different coach. And then my sophomore year, we had a different coach. 
And then my junior year, we finally got a coach rad where the program started to grow a lot because he actually started to recruit people. So we started to see more underclassmen and it wasn't just the people that had been there for the past however many years. And um, we started to get a lot more talent on the team and I think that was major growth for the program. I think there's so much potential for it just because of how young the team is. We have quite a few freshmen this year and I think that with the recruits that we're looking at for next year, we have a great shot at improving our uh, standing in the conference championship. I really enjoy it, especially here, just the whole team in general and the dynamic we have. I think it's great and I look forward to the success in future years.